What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So earlier today, I released a video at around 10 o'clock, maybe like 9.30 or so, uh, related to the Binance burns. And some people in the comments think that, one, that I was negative about the Binance burns, um, but just speaking real facts, or at least trying to speak as real facts as possible. Um, but then, two, People decided to automatically come out and say, look, this is not Binance, you're stupid. Um, this is Interstellar and all this other stuff. And it's like, yeah, they're saying you shouldn't jump to conclusions. And I'm not one to rub it in anybody's face. But um, yeah, I mean, I knew it was Binance Burns. It doesn't make sense how Interstellar can do something like that. But I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, any any company can find a way to do that. But that's $1.8, um, almost $1.9 uh, million dollars. Um, that you can burn off. Are you telling me they're allocating that much um, with only 2,000 followers? No offense to Interstellar. No, like, no offense at all. Um, I'm sure you can do a lot of burns. Um, but I, I definitely thought that this was the Binance burn. And especially since it didn't have a memo, if, if anybody else did it, you would expect to see a memo um, on that. So anyways... Um, I knew it was Binance Burns, and um, I did put a disclaimer at the bottom of the video after I posted and said, look, a lot of people are making a stink about this, that it is, um, they're saying it's Interstellar, and um, it's not Binance, and that um, I'm, I'm stupid and shaking my head, and all of these YouTubers are wrong, and then all of a sudden, we find out that it is Binance, and it's confirmed that it is Binance, and all of those comments disappear. So it's, it's just hilarious how, and some people kept them there. I mean, stand strong by your word. If you felt a certain way, you felt a certain way. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about that and kind of a, my way of saying like, I told you so, I guess. But um, nevertheless, we're here as a community. We're here to talk about Terra Luna Classic. We're here to talk about the Binance burn and the expectation and why it kind of fell short, I guess, of expectation for a lot of people. Um, so before we get started, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, follow my Patreon, you can follow both of those down below. I do have a new channel, an NFA channel, NFA investing, not financial advice investing, um, to where I go over different cryptocurrencies and even going over stocks in future videos, um, different investments that uh, people want me to review. So I'm going to go through it, talk about it. And if you guys want me to talk about something, you can vote on Patreon. That's usually where we hold the votes. So they really uh, tell us where the channel is going to go when it comes to the next position. So it's not something that's decided by me because a lot of times I see the views and typically, you know, you start to gravitate more towards where the views go. Um, just because that's how YouTube works. And usually you gravitate towards the questions, uh, the most popular things. So if you guys are controlling it, that's the, the best way to deal with that. Now, we're already three minutes in. Sorry for that long intro there. But Terra Luna Classic, if you didn't know, um, we burned off um, 5.6 billion, almost 5.6 billion from Binance today. And um, it's amazing to be able to see that. But a lot of people had an expectation of this being, you know, 15, 20, 25 billion. I saw some spreadsheets that said it was going to be like 30 billion. And I thought that that was out of control. <clears throat> I always try and limit expectations, but I can tell you the truth. Even with me, I fell short. So I was wondering why that is. And there's a number of things that could be the, the reason as to why we are seeing that. Um, so guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Um, I, I already said all this whole entire spiel. Let's go ahead and get into this. Um, Terra Luna classic currently at a point zero 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 thirty uh, oh one. It's down about eleven and a half percent from where it was, um, you know, at this this high point. So from this high point where we saw that point zero 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 three five, it was hovering there for a while, and we did see it get there, um, fall back down a little bit, uh, climb back up as we knew the burn was coming. Um, but then once the burn came, it seemed that. Um, everything kind of fell down. And I guess people were not impressed by the amount that has been burned. It's a first burn. It's good to see. I'm not really 100% impressed, but I can tell you that um, the way I look at this, um, we have to break a lot of things down to understand what was included in that burn. But let's go into uh, what it says for Lunic Penguins, and then we'll go into um, you know Twitter as well. So 
um, Lunic Penguins here, you're going to see that the top burner is now Binance at uh, 5.611 billion. You can see Binance users, the difference between Binance and, and Binance users. <clears throat> you're looking at Binance that burned off that larger amount. And you can see in one foul swoop, if we scroll down here, we're gonna see 5.595 billion um, coins that got burned. Now, that is an impressive number. It's more than what we've done um, in the past. Um, but obviously with the transaction burn or this is transaction fee burn, we expect so much more out of Binance. Um, but understand this. When people look at the volume, as we scroll through here and we look at the historical data and we look at the volume and say, oh, you know what? One billion was going through here. We should expect this much of uh, uh, 555 million is going through here. We, just, we should expect this much. But if you look at everything back from the 21st, we're looking at less than a billion besides the date of the 26th. Uh, everything else. You're looking at less than a billion. Doesn't mean that we should be seeing a billion that's in uh, Binance. Typically, it's fifty to uh, fifty to sixty percent. And even though that is a larger amount, it's still less than what we think we think it is. A lot of people are doing the projections based off total numbers, and it's not off of total number, right? I break it off of what I see for Binance and what I typically see for Binance. So a lot of times when I was looking at it, it was around eight to um, eight to 10, I believe it was, or 18, 15, eight to 15. It was a large range, um, billion. Just to kind of, uh, I guess, lower expectations a little bit. I still thought that was the lower end of things as I was looking at it. I thought we were definitely going to see around 10 billion and I was saying 8 billion to kind of lower expectations. Then you see 10 billion and people will be excited about it. Um, but we did get closer to that 8 billion mark. We were around, let's say 5.6, around 6 billion. So 2 billion off, which is still uh, a significant amount. So don't think that I'm right in any case. Um, but I can tell you as we look through all of this. And the reason why I said 8 billion was because I wanted it to be over 1 billion a day. However, it ended up being less than 1 billion a day. But there's a couple of things we haven't factored in. Um, somebody talked to me about the fact that people can, um, can stop fees. So they can basically jump into Binance and won't have to pay fees um, throughout some of these transactions. I don't know how, but someone said that, you know, they, they're not, they don't withhold fees for some people. So if that's the case, then that could be a portion that also um, wasn't factored into any type of calculation, as well as only seeing certain amounts of volume that flow through Binance spot trading and margin trading, because you also have on um, on-chain trading that happens, that's around 10% of the overall volume. Usually for the past couple of days, we've been seeing less than that. We've been seeing somewhere around like 1% or so from what I have seen. Um, but that could be a factor as well. So let's just take this. Obviously we have to take this as a win. We're not going to sit here and sulk all day. Um, so we have to take this as a win and look at this as a positive. It's great to see any type of burning because without this, we would see less burning. We would be uh, relying on a lot of the other projects that are out there. And I feel like we could get it done with some of these other projects. However, the transactional burn just makes it so easy. And if the CEXs were willing to just do what we wanted them to do of the 1.2%, we would get to where we want to get to. The problem is, um, I don't know if they're willing to do that. You can see what Binance is doing. Binance is doing uh, something at least KuCoin isn't doing anything. Um, MEXC was doing something for a while. I don't think they're doing anything now. Um, but you see all the other exchanges not doing anything, but Binance is doing something. So I will, um, kind of pat them on the back or give them a round of applause for even just burning. You know, I'm excited that this did happen and this is why I can continue to talk about it. I want to talk about it in 17 videos, but obviously that would be overkill. So let's take this as a win, guys. We still want to apply pressure. Um, I'm not saying that <clears throat> we totally give up on the 1.2% because that's still part of uh, where we are um, or where we should be. But yeah, as we go into here, I want to show you guys what it looks like. So Binance did show that they did the 5.595 billion coins, which would be $1.8 million or almost $1.9 million. Um, and this only went till the 1st of October. So seeing from the second to the eighth, um, you're missing, you know, the second you're missing yesterday's data. 
um, which was a decent amount of volume. I think it was like a million, uh, a billion dollars in volume in total. So um, probably seeing somewhere around 600 million, maybe 700 million that flows through Binance, which would be definitely uh, interesting. So anyways, that's where we stand. There's a lot of other things that we need to factor into these calculations. And um, I don't know if we have a true check on on what's the numbers unless you have the numbers within Binance. People that are um, users within Binance, I think you can get that data, but I cannot. So anyways, that's where we stand. Hopefully you guys are, are having a good rest of your day and, uh, you know, you're... Um, you know, making some money somewhere else because Lunik is actually falling down a bit after receiving this news of 5.6 billion coins. People expected so much more, but let's continue to to see what this ends up being, and uh, if it ends up growing to 10 billion or or whatever, that would still be great to burn off 10 billion per week or 40 billion per month. It would still be great. It would just take a very very long time for this to play out. You know. So, anyways. Hit the like button, guys. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. I'm sorry for the longer video today. Um, I had a lot to get off my chest in the beginning of the video. And uh, I apologize for that because I typically don't do that. But I just thought, you know what? I might as well do it because all the comments disappeared after I posted the video. And people were like, hey, this isn't Binance. And it was just a mess. Um, but anyways, like I said, I'm going to get out of here. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.